Welcome to the real deal. Hey guys, welcome to another Ray Challenge Engines video with me, The Real Deal. And we've got a new exciting event going on, um, the Path of Light. Um, so, well, I say new and exciting, it is literally just dungeon divers um, crossed with upgrading artifacts. So how it works is you earn light coins through doing, you know, getting artifacts and upgrading them. And then you can choose, you choose a path, follow the path down and you just spend the light coins away to get the point, um, to get the rewards. And you, so I'll just quickly read the event info for you. So complete event objects to earn light coins, then use them to unlock rewards along the reward paths. Ooh, each path contains different rewards, but you can choose which path, sorry, which reward path you want to explore. You can also jump between path rewards freely when they merge or cross over as long as you have enough event keys and light coins. So if you look at this, the only cross and merge that I can see is at the very start. Um, however, for me, well, I'd recommend going for the middle path for everyone because uh, obviously legendary tomes, they're hard to come by. And I know everyone, that's the thing that people probably want the most. However, I am going to be that guinea pig that hugs the left-hand side. So I want to dodge these uh, two uncommon uh, these two common books and also if you have a look here it's the cheapest one so it's really cheap on the left hand side so it means I can sort of get down further faster and then I want to jump across to the epic book and get the legendary tome I don't know if I'm able to do that but um you know if I if I can't I'll be quite happy to be that person that you know misses out I, I can I can live without one legendary book here it's not going to hurt me um, but the other thing to notice as well is that the end, these like two gems here, so that's 750 light coins for 45 gems, as opposed to 1300 for the energy. But you actually, so if I was to convert 40 gems to energy, I'd get 140 energy as opposed to a 130, no, 125 energy. So it doesn't it doesn't add up to be honest it doesn't make sense so it's actually more efficient to get the gems on the left hand side than it is actually to pick up that energy but anyway um so yeah so i'm going to be hugging the left hand side i'm going to be the guinea pig i will let you know if it if you can do it um otherwise what will happen is i'll probably get down to here get that chicken and then i have to start all the way again from the top here and work my way down um but hopefully you can jump across as it says but you know, I'm sure this is something we'll all figure out and learn as the days go on. Yeah, and then the other thing that I'm not too happy about is when the event ends, any unused keys will be lost and any unused light coins. So I don't mind losing the event keys, but unused light coins will be lost and automatically converted into silver. Now I know we all need I know we all need silver, however, I can guarantee the exchange rate is gonna be terrible. And you're not going to get that much silver. So not too pleased out about that. The other thing as well is if you look at how mu how many light coins you need for these rewards at the bottom. I definitely feel that, you know, it'd be very, I would personally prefer if they allowed you to hold on to those light coins. So you could use them for future events and save up. I just feel it's a bit, it's a bit cheeky, you know, but anyway. So that is the light coins. Um, so... Do I think it's a trap? Well, originally when I did have a look, I did think, Jesus Christ, look how many points you need to get. Um, however, saying that, I've upgraded a few bits of gear and I've done a few dungeon runs. And I've already got 5,000 light coins, so it doesn't seem to add up. But if you were today, say, do, um, you know, dungeon divers, I think you need around usually like 5,000 points. And upgrading artifacts used to be 6,000, now it's sort of move to 7,000. So 7,000 plus 5,000 is 13,000. And if we just look just for the left hand side, that is already adding up to be more than 13,000 points to get those rewards. And you know, with both those dungeon divers in the past, you'd get at least two epic tomes and you'd get the ancients as well. So it seems like they're splitting up the rewards and making it harder than to get. However, they have put a legendary tome there and a void shard the void shards they're quite stingy with 
and legendary tomes are hard to come by so sort of they have put better rewards there for you um so yeah it is it is difficult but i do think at a glance i did think oh this is a complete con the other things were actually they're quite tight on the energy it used to get a lot more energy as well um but they've put some good things in there as well like i do like these uh rank charms and the core hammers are really good as well for forging gear um the only thing that i'm really not happy about is these uh rare skill tomes you know no one needs them just could you please put just something more useful there and they're really expensive 1300 each so you know it's just like making sure that you're like using these like well that you're burning for your resources so you can get that legendary tome so however so i don't think the event is a con but what i do think is a con is these light coin bundles so for nine pounds you get 6500 light coins which you can't even get a legendary tome or a five star chicken for so that's a little bit out of order if you ask me and then if we go back so 18 quid is going to get you 14,000 light coins which is just going to get you enough points for the legendary tome and something else say the epic book however you have to get there first as well so you know you could for example say you've been silly like me and you've gone down the left hand side got that chicken and then you're working your way here and then you thought oh i don't have enough and you've spent money on it and then you can't even get the books because you don't have enough that is that is bang out of order mate bang out of order um yeah i just don't think that's fair and not only is it out of order but you know that also that's extortionate 20 pounds for a legendary tome and an epic tome i think actually i think i'm sure the best deal i've ever seen for legendary tomes is you get five tomes for 20 quid but also even if say you don't reach it then you've just uh you lose the light co light coins as well so it's even worse it's just terrible terrible deal uh the string pack i would say is actually pretty decent if you're a uh, a medium to high spender it's probably going to cost you like 120 quid to get all this but that is a lot of energy and that will help you you know um do the dungeon divers event and be able to get all these rewards as well so it was it will help it will help but you know that's up to you if you've got that sort of money to splash but the litecoin bundles i can i, can, I just i can't approve it it's just it's just, it's filthy it's dirty it's wrong don't 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 spend your money on there it's it's save it save it for other things so yeah guys as i was saying um i will be that guinea pig that's gonna hug the left hand side try and be really sneaky dodge these rare tomes and then switch across to that epic and grab that legendary tome if i can i'll let you guys know if it is possible and yeah and i'll sort of let you know in a couple of days when i've done it and just give my final thoughts to see if i think it is actually better than the uh, sort of current events that we do have oh and just one other thing as well so um yeah last friday i was very lucky i managed to pull myself a trunda maxed her out i'm just gonna try and gear her the best i can um i've done the masteries gonna book her at the next cvc and gear her up and do a guide on her really looking forward to using her and having her as my main new car because she's an absolute beast yeah so that is the end of the video thank you so much for watching guys Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Peace.